humans! Welcome to Fangirl Friday, where I talk about books, movies, and other things that I like to fangirl over. Today, I am so happy because it is finally school holidays, which means I get to read a lot. The other day, I was up till 12.30 in the morning, this morning slash last night, reading, because I didn't really have anything to do today, and then I'm, yeah. So obviously, now that it's a holidays and I have more time to read, it means that I have to have more books to read. So I went to my beautiful friend, Jana, who is basically like a walking library, but she lent me some books. So without further ado, here is my holiday reading list. First up is Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson and Maxine Petero. Petro, a name that is not one that I can pronounce. It's a New York Times bestseller and I think it's about a girl who's been accused of murdering her parents, but I don't know if she has. I feel like this might be a bit of a psychological thriller, but it probably isn't. That could just, I don't know. Next up is Pure by Juliana Baggett and The Consequential Fuse, which is the sequel. I've started reading this and to be honest, I'm finding it a bit weird. I'm only 36 pages in, but it's, it's not something I want to read as I go to bed at night, to be honest. From what I've gathered in the first 36 pages, there was like a bombing, and then people were fused with the things that were around them when the bombs went off. For example, the main character's hand is encased inside like a doll's head. I, it makes me feel kind of sick to my stomach because like I can kind of just picture these people with these really weird mutations and their suffering and it's really scary and you can probably tell by my <laughs> reaction to this that I'm not looking forward to reading this. But I'll give it a go for Jana's sake. No promises that I'll read the second one though. The next book on my list is Crescendo which is the sequel to Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I read Hush Hush and I thought it was interesting. I was also kind of scary because I don't even understand and then he was like this thing and then she was like there and then he was like I kind of need to kill you and she's like <sighs> and I was really confused the whole book and then I got to the end and it was like so this is the sequel and I'm kind of concerned about reading it as well this is the holidays of being brave and reading books that scare me <laughs> the next book is virals by Kathy Rikes. And apparently this is kind of like the book version of the TV show Bones. And I've heard really good things about Bones. Also, the tagline is heart stopping forensic action with a twist. And I'm really into forensics. So this should be interesting. Also, just a fun fact thing that I've noticed um, as these have been on my bedside table. All the cut, like all the spines have quite similar colour schemes. Um, so they all look really nice on my bedside table. They're all blacks and reds and like muted greys and stuff. So, um, that's just something cool. Next up is City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. C -c Cassandra Clare. Cassandra Clare. Yeah, yeah, Cassandra Clare. That is the third book in the Model Instrument series. I've read the first and second ones. I love them. I'm really excited to read this because it's getting really interesting and I, I like this series a lot. I really, really, really like this series. And it's City of Glass, so I'm hoping that they go to Alicante or wherever, like, their shadow on the city because that's like the city of glass, I'm hoping the title alludes to the fact that they might go there and I'll be based in there. I'm really excited about this. And last but certainly not least is a book that my mum bought me yesterday and it is for a Diversion Collection by Veronica Rock. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure it's basically just a bunch of short stories. It's from Four's perspective and I'm really, really excited to read these because I love Four. I love Tobias. He's an absolute gem and I can't wait to get inside his head. Still smells like new because we only bought it yesterday. Thanks, Mom. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really looking forward to reading most of these books. Um, some of them I'm a bit scared of, but you know, we'll deal with that when it comes to it. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you and goodbye. I think I forgot to do that thing on my last video which I shot just prior to this because I'm wearing the same dress just under this sweater. <laughs>